You're probably sick of hiding from your neighbors. How did you get yourself into the situation where you have a home where your neighbors are looking right into your space and vice versa, you're looking into their space. You wanna have a fun time with your family and friends, but your neighbors are part of the family because they're right there looking right into your area. What do you do to solve it? So this video is all about privacy, but it's not only privacy, it's about how you can coexist with your neighbors right there, but we're gonna make it so they kind of disappear. We're gonna talk about sight lines. We're gonna talk about sound and sound waves, but we're also gonna talk about visuals and capturing your attention, pulling your eye to where we want it to go. So you probably realize the biggest problem is your sight lines. Sight lines from inside your house looking out, and what do you see? Sight lines from your neighbor's windows looking out of their house and what they see, but also when they're outside looking in and when you're outside looking in. Now that we do a privacy video every single year because privacy is the number one concern for homeowners, people want to be able to have privacy in their outdoor space. We're going to talk to you today about how you can gain privacy no matter what, and it's the way you structure your backyard. You're thinking about your backyard living space, not just about creating a hedge and a prison around your backyard. I want you to think about your backyard space as a home. Think about the way a home would be built at the very starting stages of a property. So you're going to have to have the right layout of a home depending on the property. It's the same thing with your backyard space. You have a backyard space, you have fixed locations of windows from your neighbors looking into that space. But the way you structure your backyard living space can start to hide those sight lines from your neighbors and it can enhance the sight lines from where you see. Your backyard living room is going to be the key to giving you the privacy that you need from your neighbors. Let's talk about all the things that we can do to lay out your property to maximize privacy. And now we're gonna lay out the backyard in room. So what's a room? The main room that I usually think about is a covered structure. It could be a freestanding structure. It could be an attached structure. It could be a fully enclosed room in the backyard, but that's an anchor for your eye that'll pull you out and get you used in the space. So take a look at these backyard structures that were specifically designed with privacy in mind. You will be amazed. You won't even be able to see the windows in some situations. Take a look at what we've done to maximize privacy with structures. The next key outdoor feature that are fireplaces. They're amazing at providing screen to your neighbors, especially to the windows, and it gives you something nice to look at as you're looking outside from your windows. Now you can do this in conjunction with a structure. They're great post to post. You have the fireplace in the middle and it provides a whole wall sometimes of privacy. But you could also just do the fireplace with the structure. That's great. You can even do the fireplace all by itself. Think about that, a strategically placed fireplace. In fact, in this situation, right outside of the neighbor's side window, and it looks right out to the fireplace. You got the beautiful arbor on either side, another privacy feature with a living wall, and it totally blocks the, the sight lines from the neighbor right behind that fireplace. So fireplaces can be an amazing privacy feature that you might not have ever thought about. Okay, now let's talk about outdoor kitchens for privacy. They are great. Take a look at this job, in fact. Neighbors on either side, windows looking totally in from all spaces, but look at what they did. A beautiful side kitchen, totally blocked off the neighbor right next to them and it gave them so much privacy. The reason I love this is because it's great from both sides. The neighbor gets a beautiful wall to look at, but the homeowner gets a beautiful kitchen to look at, but it also does a great job of buffering the sound from the neighbor that is literally feet away. Now kitchens can also be used in structures. Take a look at these jobs here. You have the kitchen as the highlight, but you can put a little wall behind it and now you have that ability to block off all the sight lines from your neighbors, but also give them a nice feature to look at from their side. Another great option is a sunken area. Now I've used this a lot recently in neighborhoods that have decks. So if you can imagine somebody up on a deck looking right into your space, you can't really escape that, right? But you can if you go down into your sunken area. Now sunken areas work perfect if you have a little bit of slope like we have in these properties. We just used the slope to our benefit and we sunk down the whole space and it kind of made the sight lines disappear. So think about it. Do you have the sight lines with somebody looking into your space and maybe a little bit of slope? Sunken area might be perfect for you. Or you could do what we've done here and sink down the whole back of the property. In fact, they wanted to sink down their office and they wanted to go down because the city wouldn't let them go any higher. So we sunk the whole area down, put a fire pit with a seat wall, and they have a beautiful little private backyard office. When you're thinking about privacy, I want you to think about design. Please, simple, call me, or make it so you have the right layout of your backyard space in relation to outdoor living and your neighbors and privacy. We design all over the world, links below. 
privacy feature that I use in every backyard space are privacy screens, and there's so many different shapes and sizes of these. There's wood privacy, there's metal privacy, there is even shade cell privacy, and you could even do planting privacy. But the main thing to think about is just the sight lines from your neighbors, the proximity. Are you close? Do you, are, are you looking into a deck? Put a privacy screen up in that spot like we've done here. Now take a look at this job. You have a beautiful destination with this gym, but on either side of that, we did a privacy feature. You even did it right up against the house because you don't want to see the sight lines as you're looking at the side of the house. So it's all about sight lines. The other side was an apartment and you've made both of those go away with doing a simple privacy screen. Take a look at what we've done with some of these metal privacy options. They really can just make a neighbor go away, put them where they're needed. And look at what we've done here, the sight line from the hot tub has put a privacy feature and it gives you that privacy that you need inside your hot tub. And another little trick that I love is umbrellas. Umbrellas strategically placed to protect those sight lines are amazing. Same thing can be said about shade sails. They are great. And now you are getting shade, but you're making the, the window of your neighbor completely go away. So rooms, outdoor living rooms are the main privacy feature. Now that we have our room in the proper layout, I want you to remember that you can still give privacy to the sides. So if you have a neighbor over this way and it's not necessarily protecting the backside, but you can put one of these E-Zip shade solutions. Now they do also a wonderful job with privacy. Look at this, one touch of a button and you have instant privacy in your space. So remember that as an enhanced privacy feature on the side of your structure. Now we could take advantage of some of the softening that we have with plants. Plants and hedges are amazing privacy features and I want you to think about that, they're important. You don't necessarily have to have a whole hedge even though they're wonderful, but you can do strategically placed plants right in sight lines of windows that'll give you that privacy that you need from the neighbor's window. And don't forget about living walls and vines. That's another great privacy feature. It doesn't even have to be on a solid privacy screen. You could just do wires on posts with plants growing up it. It'll give you that enhanced privacy from your neighbors. Okay, another part of outdoor living is sound. Sound privacy is important. It might be a neighborhood, it might be a city, you might be next to, to a busy road and you need a little bit of sound buffering. So there's many ways to buffer that sound. One of my favorites and one of the classics are a water feature and there's lots of different water feature styles that you could use. You could use the flower pot, very common. I use it and love it. You can use a traditional stream style with a pond. They're great. It's gonna really drown out some of that city noise or road noise next to you. And then of course you have more of a fountain style or a pond style water feature. All of these do great with sound buffering. Another great sound buffering item are speakers. Landscape speakers properly installed are amazing. You point them towards the house and it echoes from the house back to the space. It does a great job of making that city noise go away and giving you the sound that you want to hear from the stereo. So we've talked all about privacy, but the main way was with layout of your backyard living space. That's what everybody wants. I know that's what you want. If you need any more privacy help, take a look at this video. There's tons more privacy features that I feature right here.